Hello everybody, I am Spike45362 coming at you with an LP of a classic arcade beat em up. What is it you may ask? You will find out soon. Like now. Aliens vs. Predator. Very fun beat em up by Capcom. Now, I'm an old school beat em up fan from way back. We'll always love these kind of games. So much fun to just run around and beat the shit out of everything. Just very simple, very straightforward, but always fun. Now this is a good one. This game is very fun. As I will show you. This story is... Well, it's barely there. Now I will be going with Major D. Schaefer. Because, simply because... His victory taunt is hilarious. So, as I was saying, definitely. Thing is, I love beat em ups and I, I love video games and I love arcades, but I was never able to really go to one a lot when I was younger. So, I figured it'd be a really good idea for me to get maim and download some classic beat em ups that I, maybe I didn't get to play when I was younger. And, yeah, it's turned out to be a great idea so far, because I've been having a lot of fun with this. I am D. Schaefer because his victory taunt is hilarious, and I kick some ass with him. This game is really cool, you got special moves, each character feels pretty unique, except for the Predators are very similar, but they do have things that set them apart. Now, there are seven stages in this game, and I plan to do them non-stop. So let's continue. The first ugly ass boss we face is... Boom! Chris Ellis. I love that dash punch. Now let's get some fist fighting in there. What? Why? Oh. Okay, yeah. Tail whip. Yeah! You cannot use rollout when I have a dash punch. Ow. Or maybe you can. Oh. Yeah, not if I do it right. You can summon all the cronies you want. You are no match for my neck breaker. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, spinning up a cut. Wow. Get combo. Get combo. Come on, come on, boy. You cannot shake me forever. Oh, power bomb! Neck breaker for the win! That is how you finish off a boss in fashion. Here it comes! Here it comes! Oh my god, I love that victory time. I find that scream hilarious. And I love how he just twitches constantly after he does it. And he never shuts his mouth, he's just constantly twitching. I wonder how long it takes for them to break out of it. See, in this cutscene, D. Shaver looks kind of like Sylvester Stallone with a Duke Nukem haircut. Which is really weird. Strange. Better check the ceiling. I have no idea why you would want to do that. I got, Oh, yeah, shot out there. Anyway, let's kick some ass! More of these little stalker things as we go along. There, there's weapons you can pick up, like guns, to murder everything. The enemies start off very simple, like just aliens, but they will introduce various new ones throughout the course of this game. This is an unlimited ammo pickup, so you can just shoot the hell out of everything. You have your little gun, but without this, it will overheat after a few shots. But with that, you can just shoot the hell out of everything. You know, hit boxes to get some extra points, simple stuff, onward to kicking more ass. Food obviously restores your health, although I don't know if I'd want to pick up a pizza that's been hanging in a biohazardous alien facility. Doesn't seem like a good idea to me, but hey, different strokes for different folks, I guess. Whatever floats this dude's boat. Spinning up a cup. Oh, decapitated. And yes, I am the best with this guy out of all the four available characters. And yes, American know-how. 
because I don't know why. They all control pretty thoroughly, but for this one, I just, I just am better with him. I don't take as much damage. I hit more things better. And yeah, the last it's stuck at the game. I thought there was a backup here. Hey, grenades. Yeah, gren grenade the control panel. That seems like the best idea. We got a royal guard. These enemies aren't completely common, but they're not quite boss characters. But they are pretty easy. And oh, 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 and that finishes them for now. Although I am dangerously close to losing my first life. I will have to continue a few times in this. Medicine! Give me the medicine. Yeah! But this is not the time. Well, this is actually going well. And a, an always good beat em up strategy is to try not to let things get on each side of you. Because that does not feel good. And I hate those dudes that just spit acid. Quite annoying. But not too bad, actually. Who is the next? We are coming up on the next boss here. Who is it? You will see. Bunch of zombies and shit. Dead people. Keep clear of the claws. Kevin's unit. I'll avenge you, Kevin! Was he the only survivor? This guy can be annoying because he has a pretty good reach. So if you're just out of range of hitting him, he can hit you. Okay, yeah. See, he cost me my first life. Razor claws. Appropriately so. So the best strategy is to back up and dash punch. Then maybe you can get in some... Ow! But yeah, see. He's definitely harder than the first boss, but he's still not too bad. Uh, this isn't a particularly, like, dickish or hard beat him up And guns help, because you can just shoot the hell out of him. And neck breaker! Razor claws gets the neck breaker. And I got the super clip. Which doesn't seem to be hitting very often. And he gets finished with bullets to the face. And here comes my favorite victory time. Oh, I find that scream to be just hilarious. Like, I was playing this earlier, doing some test rounds and stuff, making sure the recording was working fairly well. And my cohort on Crazy Commentaries, Jay Zetha, said, it sounds like he's constipated. This is actually pretty true. It sounds like he just passed a kidney stone or something. And he's like, Ugh. It finally comes out. Ah, that's good. Here's a level where they switch things up a bit. It's basically a shooter level. You have unlimited ammo here. The gun can stay cool, so you just fire at will and shoot everything that moves. It can be pretty difficult because uh, they can swarm you real quick and do a ton of damage because you just end up with like eight aliens on you at the same time. Well, all you have to do is keep shooting in, particularly the arachnoid-type aliens, like those guys. You shoot enough of them, and you do enough damage, they lose a health bar, and they get beat like that. That is technically a boss, the arachnoid. Pretty simple stage, very short. But, pretty fun. Not that hard once you get, once you know to, you know, not stand to the edge. Keep in the middle for that part, and you'll, you'll do okay.